information when some when this information has to be conveyed to a group of people belonging to a same group belonging to a same community or a same organization same school college university or you can say uh, rwa residential uh, residents of the same society so when some information or some message has to be conveyed to a group of people then a message is written in the form of a notice on a display board or a notice board that is known as a notice right means notice writing is when we have to display a piece of information publicly where a group of people can view it that is a notice now let's read it out uh, formal in a formal language what exactly notice is uh, arin arin will you please read it out arin upadhyay a notice is a written or printed announcement example a notice for sale it is written in order to inform a large number of people about something that has happened or is about to happen it could be an upcoming event competition lost and found notice or just a piece of information to be delivered to the targeted audience it is generally written in a formal tone notices are factual and to the point the language used is simple and formal not flowery they are put up put up on display boards in schools or at public places let us discuss how that's to it. that is that's it now these are some important points which you keep in which you need to keep it in your mind while writing a notice first thing a notice is always short and crisp right you are addressing it to the group of people you are not writing it for an individual right so it has to be to the point very precise uh basically you will need to give that information right it can be information can be for an event uh, maybe like if it's in a school it can be like a virtual dance competition is going to be held so you have to send your videos right so giving the information what kind of dance you're looking for solo or classical uh, the dress to be worn the timing date time venue generally it is covered in that manner right or it could be lost and found also uh, it could be related to that the person has uh, that uh, somebody has found a wallet or a spectacles given uh, lying on the school ground so anybody who has lost it can come and contact the contact at the school reception right so it has to be short and crisp no greetings no salutations are required in a notice it simply starts giving the information right hereby you are informed generally it starts with the statement hereby you are informed or this is to inform you or simply the school is organizing this and this so it is very short crisp and to the point right generally two liner is the beginning what all the event is about and then we come to date time and venue right when it is held when the uh, event is to be held where it is to be held and date time and venue these three things we basically cover right i hope i'm clear with this thing okay now let me come to the format for notice writing See, one important thing you need to keep in your mind while writing a notice and that is notice is always in a in an enclosed box in a square notice writing aap hamesha square mein hi karoge you have to please keep it in your mind if you're not giving me the notice in a square your marks will be deducted for that right that is the first thing which you need to keep it in your mind saksham please uh, shall we start reading the format for notice writing other things also will be mentioning there yes ma'am The format of a notice should be in, should include name of the institution, issuing authority, notice, title, date, and writer's name with designation. A notice should be contain all the all the necessary details such as name of the issuing agency, such as school, etc., date of issue or release of the notice, title or subject of the event, body in which it will it will include. date time duration place and venue 
then authorized signatory which contain name and signature okay now this is the format of a notice writing you can see here on your screen uh children please note it down in your notebooks because once i have shown it to you or i send it in the group then you people if you do not jot it down it's lost so please note it down in your english notebooks now as i told you first thing first and foremost that notice is always in an enclosed box so draw a box the top is name of the issuing agency or authority for example when i am giving uh, just now i gave you the example of a, a virtual dance competition so the school is organizing the dance competition so here the name of the organization the name of the authority would be school so i would at the top i would write st lawrence public senior secondary school second line it will be notice n o t i c e notice will be written in bold letters in just below the name of the school center top center may name of the issuing authority exactly niche you will be writing notice in bold letters right then then is your date of issue or release of the notice please may uh, note here date of the release of the notice has to be written on your left corner aapke left corner pe likha jayega date of the release of the notice top mein aapka school you can see exactly the format is there just this format we have to follow so name of the issuing authority school's name then you have notice written in bold and then your left corner you will be writing date of the release of the notice right next then we start with the title or then uh, just below the date you will give the subject of the event the title of the event right for example it's annual function or uh, it is this as i told you a dance competition virtual dance competition it could be anything what all topic is given to you related to you have to frame a subject you have to give a title to that right that is again in the center and then you start with the body of the notice am i clear with this thing body as i told you date time venue or duration that has to be mentioned there according to the question now at times you will find like for example this question i take where you have to uh, where there is a virtual dance competition here venue is not required we all understand in the current scenario when it's a virtual dance competition the venue you are doing it at your home only because you have it's a virtual one right uh, date and time you can mention obviously uh, venue there is no need duration you can mention that your performance should not exceed more than 1 minute or 2 minute whatever right and the performance should either be a it should be it's a solo dance competition so you can mention it should be a classical one or a, on a bollywood song right so you can mention such things and yes in case if there is some kind of expenses involved in that then you need to give that one also for example if there is a notice related to a school picnic right then some kind of amount is involved in that then you can say uh, that the picnic cost is 500 per child interested students may contact their class teacher or may contact the uh, whatever give may submit their amount to the head girl head boy or whatever it is and authorized signatory is the person who is writing this message right in case of a school when i'm talking about a dance competition it can be your dance teacher in case of a badminton uh, match it can be your it's a sports teacher so accordingly you need to give the authorized signatory generally it is mentioned in the question that you are this and this and you are drafting a notice so your name and designation is generally given in the question am i clear till this point yes sir any doubt yes, anybody is having okay uh saksham let's very in a very fast mode read out the last part also then i'm going to give you an example you are going to write okay. notice please read out these topics a notice can be written for various reasons the format of notice remains the same in all cases here is a list of topics for notice writing that students must prepare a competition an excursion trip a lost and found notice an inauguration to take place an exhibition a blood donation camp to be held or any such type of event or information to be issued in public interest okay so the topic could vary it could be any topic uh, varun i think we can stop here <clears throat>